Hey guys, this is Craig Miglaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are low loss fittings that you can add onto the end of the refrigerant hoses to allow you to have more control when you're connecting and disconnecting from a service valve. So this is used to check your refrigerant charge on an air conditioning system or just to add refrigerant onto an air conditioning system. These, these right here are for automotive, so you can actually attach this hose right onto this fitting in order to read your pressures on, a, on automotive systems. This right here goes from quarter inch, so these are quarter inch hoses, and it goes from quarter inch to five sixteenths. So what it does is it's for uh, systems that have a port such as this that may be bigger than this. So this is a quarter inch port and this is the most common port size that you're gonna run into, but on some mini split units they have a five sixteenths port so you need to be able to access that refrigerant charge. Now the whole point of these right here are to have control over the refrigerant when you're checking the charge, when you're connecting and disconnecting from the system. And with these fittings, it allows you to perform things such as a disconnect procedure where you don't steal all the liquid refrigerant out of the system that's in this hose. Like when you disconnect the refrigerant lines, you can actually uh, charge it back into the low side again while the system's running. Remember that this is the low side, this is the high side. And if you have high pressure refrigerant, it'll go into the low side and I have a whole video on that disconnect procedure down in the description section below. But these ones right here give you a lot of control. Now these just allow access and for, for a port that's different than your normal port. I highly recommend that even if you get a basic manifold gauge set and hose set up that doesn't have the low loss fittings on them already, I, I highly recommend that you get low loss fittings. You can get a three pack. Uh, if you get a automatic low loss fitting, you really only want that on the high side. This would be the the red high side uh, liquid line. Uh, if you get manual low loss fittings, you can put them on all three. You could also get these, which are valve core depressor tools, and you could use this on the blue and the red line. So, so I highly, highly recommend it. It gives you a lot more control, and you see that in the videos that I have when I'm checking the charge or adding refrigerant. On all of my hoses, I already have this manual low loss fitting built onto the hoses that I use. When I do vacuums and a recovery with a self-contained recovery unit, I tend to use hoses without any fittings. So just straight hoses and also on the inside, I don't have a valve core depressor when I'm doing vacuums or recovery because I don't allow, I don't want it to slow the process down. I have videos in the description section below on recovery and also vacuums. I quickly want to go over the difference between these two service valves that are found on air conditioning systems and heat pumps. There is a what's called a valve core in this port right here, and in this one there is no valve core. Now on this simple, most common service valve, it's a two position service valve, it's either fully open or front seated. This one has three positions, it's called a three position service valve. And when you come up to this type of system, this exposed stem is going to be all the way up. That's back seated. And what you do is you're going to attach your hose onto this, and then you're going to turn this 180 degrees downwards clockwise with a ratcheting service wrench. And that's going to give you access to the refrigerant charge from the port and, go, and for that to go into the hoses. So once again, this is a three position service valve. There is no valve core. And now I'm going to take you up for a, a close up image of how each of these work. For an automatic low loss fitting such as this, you typically would only have this on the high side and so, so that you know what's happening here is we have a valve core depressor in the end of this hose and what that would normally do is it presses in on that valve core to allow access to the charge. It just presses in on that. However, on this, it doesn't uh, press in on anything. It's just for your connection right there. And on the inside of here, there, it's spring-loaded, that whole mechanism right there. And what happens is when you unscrew this off, so you screw it on, first of all, and the inner part is going to press up against the port, and also the inner part has the valve core depressor, which is going to press up against the valve core, and it's going to allow refrigerant through. But when you unscrew it back off again, that's the whole point of this, is that it's going to lock the refrigerant right here, and it's going to lock it in your hose up to your, your gauge set. Uh, so on this, you could still use an automatic low loss fitting such as this on a on a three position service valve, but it's just not going to press in on the valve cord and there's no need to. But it will still lock the refrigerant in this hose when you disconnect. This here is the manual low loss fitting and 
the end of the fitting right here looks just like the end of the hose. It has a valve core depressor in it. And you wanna make sure that you're gonna be wearing gloves. And when you connect on, you are going to be connecting on fairly quickly. So with your gloves on your hands, you're gonna connect on quickly. When you disconnect, you turn the valve to the off position. And once again, disconnect quickly because you want that valve core to reseat on the inside of this port to stop the refrigerant from coming out. So the least amount of refrigerant between here and this valve will be, will be best. When you connect on to something like this, you're, when you arrive, this is gonna be backseated all the way. There is no valve core, so you don't have to do things quickly, uh, but you have your valve core depressor here. It's, you can just leave it in there, it's no problem. And then you just connect on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this inwards, which is clockwise, maybe 180 degrees, and that's gonna allow your refrigerant into the port here. And before you disconnect, whether it's the automatic low loss, manual low loss, no matter what it is, before you disconnect here, you have to make sure that you backseat this valve. And you're gonna be doing that and making sure it's backseated tight with your ratcheting service wrench. And then you can just turn this valve. And once again, with your gloves, you can just do this slowly in order to disconnect. Uh, no matter what, no matter what, you're still gonna need to leak check your ports after you disconnect to make sure you're not leaking any refrigerant out of the ports. This is a valve core depressor tool. And so if you were to get one of these, you should get it on your blue hose and your red hose. If you were to get the, the manual low loss valve, I would get that for your, your yellow, blue, and red hoses. And once again, if you get your automatic low loss, I would just get that for your high side hose, which is your, your red hose here. Now, how this works is on the inside, you see that there's a nub. Now, this is something that you can do, take your time with it. So when you're connecting on, you can go ahead, go ahead and just make sure that this is backed up all the way. Go ahead and connect on, and this is what's going to press in on the valve core. And you can do this at your own pace, so you don't have to be rushing while you're doing this. Then it's gonna press in on the valve core. You don't have to over tighten the valve core, but just once you know you're pressing in on it, it's gonna allow the refrigerant through. Now there's several versions of this type of a fitting, and this one has uh, this right here. And what that's gonna do, it's like a packing nut and it, it can be tightened. If there happens to be any refrigerant leaking out of here, you can just snug it up a little bit. I like this version right here, and also it has a back seat. So you gotta make sure you get the right version I prefer the one with the back seat. So when you go to disconnect with this, this particular one, you can just turn this all the way till you get to the back seat position counterclockwise. And what that's gonna do, you wanna snug it up and that's going to lock the refrigerant right here. It's not gonna allow, it's not gonna allow it to, to come out of the hose. Also, right here at your, your port, the valve core is reseated. So once again, you can just take your time with your gloves on your hands and your safety glasses. You just go ahead and disconnect this and it's no problem. So, so this is pretty nice as well. So I quickly wanted to show you the valve core. I mean, this is it. You're pressing in on this to gain access to the refrigerant charge, and sometimes these go bad or are leaking, and you can replace them with a tool such as this, which is a valve core removal tool. If you're looking for any of the tools used in this video, I have them all linked down in the description section below. And if you wanna learn more about connecting onto an air conditioning system and checking the charge, troubleshooting it, I even go into the preparation steps to get a system ready for a refrigerant, you should check out our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning. So I have just about everything that I, that I really want techs to know in this book here. And also we have our, our charging and troubleshooting cards as well. These are both available over to our website at acservicetech.com. And we also have these available over at amazon.com. We have our ebook that's available over at the Google Play Store. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.